Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to see about day 5 of Lead Code 75 days challenge and uh, the problem statement for today is going to be reverse vowels of a string. So um, I hope you guys are as excited as I am that uh, like today we are having our day 5 of this challenge and we are now getting to know how the problems are approached, how we approach, how we break down the problem and make it as simple as possible and if you are having any issues please do let me down know in the comment section and um, also please like and subscribe please so uh, once again so yeah, so he, this is the problem statement. Reverse vowels for uh, of a string. So we need to reverse the vowels of a string. We'll be given any string and we just need to pick the vowels from it and we need to reverse it, okay? Given a string is reverse only all the vowels in the string and return it, okay? So basically, suppose I have ice cream in this, okay? Then output will be a c e like basically what we are doing we are just like the vowels in the s r i e e a so it is just taking those vowels and then it is reversing it okay it is not even changing the like capital letter small letter it is not touching that just picking those and then reversing it okay so like yeah this is our problem statement i hope it is clear we'll start with the code so let's start now okay so basically our problem statement is clear we will be given a string we want to pick up all the vowels from that string we need to check if that uh, value if that value is present in vowel or not like we will first create okay let's just start with the pseudocode and likewise will be uh, checking okay so i'll just create a variable vow okay wow i'm not doing indentation and all i'm just making a pseudocode okay now i'll just make it as set just in case if i have any duplicacy or something so a e i o u and capital also a e i o u okay so i'm just making it as set now i need to check uh, for the length so i'll just uh, create a list first for the string so what i can do i can just write list and then the string str1 whatever i'm getting from as the input or the argument okay whatever i'm getting i'll just create a list from that then there will be two pointers so we are going to use two pointer techniques for just like swapping it okay so the two pointers will start from the beginning and from the end and we will start comparing one by one so basically we'll check if this this value is having any of it is in the set of the vowels if yes then we'll swap otherwise what we will do we'll just uh, decrement the pointer okay so left comma right equal to zero comma length of whatever the s list is okay so what i have done i have just created two pointers which will help me for comparing okay so while left is less than right i'm going to do the comparison so while left okay so basically while left is less than right what this is the outer loop and inside that i'll check while left left is less than right and s list not in wow till i'm not getting this condition what i'll do i'll make sure that left pointer goes to the like it increments one by one okay then another one is also the same thing for the right pointer it will be while left is less than right to check for the right pointer and s list i not in wow okay so this is like for right pointer while left is less than right and s list not s list of here left 
i we don't have any value as i and here it will be right okay s list of left not in wow and s list of right not in wow till that time we will make sure that that pointer is decreasing okay for the right one so right minus equal to 1 are you getting my point we have two pointers one is from the starting another one is from the ending so we are comparing okay so while left is this pointer is less than the right pointer what i am doing i am checking if it is less than that and the value is not in the vowel what i'll do I'll, i don't care about those values right so i'll just increase the increment the pointer okay the pointer will be pointing to the next value likewise i'll do it for right also i want that both left and right pointers are pointing to the vowel so if that condition meets like i get if left is less than right okay if that condition meets considering the fact that left should be less than right that is the pointer should be like that okay and i have got the vowel it is in the vowel set so what i will do i will just s list of left comma s list of right equal to s list of right comma s list of left are you getting my point what i have done i have taken the left value swapped it with the right value taken the right value swapped it in the left value this is called in line uh, doing the change so this is known as in line okay so it is it can be done in python so uh, if you are uh, having any issue we are going to soon going to create python videos python shorts and uh, guys please do support so that it will make me more uh, uh, energetic to create more such videos for you all so yeah back to this so we what we have done we have done the swapping now again our motive is not to keep stay there okay we need to make sure that left plus equal to one and uh, right also right minus equal to one getting my point it is clear now i have got list but i don't like i have received string and what i am i have done i have made it as list for better iteration and for better comparison as you all know that string is immutable so that's why what i am doing i am making it to list to make it mutable to make it changeable so what i'll do now i'll return this is how you can join a list to string basically convert list to string by doing this function dot join s list so basically what i have done i have joined it with no space if i would have added it as space then all the values will be a space e space like that okay so i am just removing space okay so this is our code base we'll check it here if it is correct or not we need to do better way of indentation here okay left right left right here also left right small small return okay if while so i think it is clear mm, let's check if there will be any issue it will show us error okay i hope this is okay okay so there was one issue that is we need to make sure that it is the range is length minus one because we can't go uh, up to n because here what we are doing the range uh, function we were using right that's why it used to take it to minus one but here what i have done i was taking only length but it should be minus one because the upper limit is like indexing starts from zero and we need to make it to n minus one whatever the length is minus one so now let's check 
okay it's accepted and we'll submit our code and yeah it's done so basically uh, we have completed this challenge also and i hope you guys liked it i uh, if there is any issue any concern do let me know in the comment section and uh, do like and subscribe guys thank you